Okay, in today's video, I'd like to talk about adding super elevation to a tangent area uh, along a, a corridor or an alignment. Uh, usually, when we think about super elevation, we are talking about adding that um, around a curve or something like that. Um, the process is going to be the same. Uh, however, it's not typically done, um, you know, in a tangent area. So, if we go uh, into the alignment properties. We can go to the Design Criteria tab. Here's where we have our design speed. So in Civil 3D, before we uh, apply any sort of super elevation, we first have to have uh, design speed set up. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and add some stations in here, um, and just go out and pick that from the drawing. So I'm just going to start with uh, Station 800 here, and then we'll go down and pick our second station, which I'll just come down with station 15. Okay, so I've got my two design speeds set up, my, my my station range for that. So now if I go into super elevation, um, we can add those stations in here as well. You'll see that the hide inside lanes uh, and shoulders is checked, so we're not seeing the inside, we're only seeing the outside, which is actually what we have set up uh, in our subassembly. So I'll show you that here in just a second. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pick to add my stations and I'm just going to add the um, the same stations that I applied the uh, design speeds to. So I'll do station 8. Oops. Station 15. Okay, so we've got those in there now. And uh, the next thing we really need to do is decide which side's going to have our our super elevation. So uh, our alignment's actually moving from left to right across the screen. Um, so the left side would be over here, and, and that's the side uh, in this case that we're going to go ahead and raise. So I'm going to take my outside shoulder um, and outside lane properties for both, and I'm just going to give these negative values. So we'll say OK. And now I'm just going to run my corridor. Before I do that, I'm just going to show you I have, um, it's just a basic assembly. And for the lanes here, we have uh, the lane outside super. Um, so they'll follow the outside lane properties for super elevations, which is why we hit the inside lanes. OK, so let's just go up and create the corridor. main road. That's my basic assembly. I'll go ahead and give this a target for existing ground. Okay, now if we just go in and take a look, uh, and I'll start up here a little ways, and we'll just uh, go into view edit. You can see we have our normal crown here at station uh, 725, 750 is the same way, uh, 775, you'll notice here we have a 799.86 uh, and then that one's the same as well but if we go to now to station 8 you can see the super elevation uh, has been applied to that station and should be until we get through uh, then to station 15. So we'll drop that down and Okay, so still station 1475 still has a super elevation. Station 15 should have it as well. And then uh, station 1525 should go back to our crowned roadway.